Hello everyone. We have seen in last two session our partnership final account where that we have seen, and today we are going to consider the dissolution of partnership form. This is also a compulsory question in the board examination, which is very simple. Dissolution means to wind up or to close it down. Your partnership can be closed for many reasons. It can be for voluntary. When all the partner decides themselves to close the partnership, they can close it. Period expired. Suppose a partnership is for specific period. Then after completion of that period, it is going to be expired. It is going to be closed. That is called dissolution. Another is completion of specific venture. Venture means a particular project. When a partnership is going to complete that particular venture, it is going to be closed. It is going to be dissolved automatically. Another is that is your insolvency, or we can say bankruptcy. Or suppose partner becomes unsound mind. By that way, also the partnership form is can also be dissolved. If it is doing any unlawful activity, then also it can be dissolved. Partnership at will can be dissolved by giving notice of 14 days. When one or two partners, three partners can give the notice for dissolution of partnership form, it can be dissolved by giving the notice of how many days. 14 days is the most important. Now it is decided decided that partnership form is going to be dissolved. Now. Whenever the dissolution, there is certain procedure is there. That is Section 48 of the Partnership Act. That you know it very well. 1932. The liabilities are to be paid first. The order is specifically mentioned here. That is first, we have to pay realization expenses for making the. Dissolution, whatever the expenditure is made, that is called realization expenses, that to be paid first. Then we like to make the payment for outside, that is called as what third party. You can write here third party liabilities payment must be done first of all. Then any partner had given a loan in the form of loan, then that is to be paid. And lastly, if anything is remaining. We like to make the payment to the partners what capital balances. This is the procedure how the money is realized and how the payment is to be made for your liabilities. That is considered here. That is first part of we can see. Now again in this session, what is our agenda that we like to see? That is first of all introduction. Just we have done it. What is the partnership dissolution? How it is to be done and why it is to be done that we have seen it. Another is we have to consider that is the definition of the dissolution. Then what are the accounting treatment? How it is to be treated? How the accounts are to be settled? That we have to consider. And lastly, how the problem of dissolutions are to be solved? That we have to consider. Now we have to see what is definition. Which are laid down in the Partnership Act, 1932, under Section 39, how it defines the Partnership Act, 1932, Section 39, defines dissolution of the partnership between all the partners of a firm is called the dissolution of the firm. Dissolution of the partnership between all the partners. Of a firm is called the dissolution of the firm. It implies the complete breakdown. That is the common word. It implies the complete breakdown of the relation of partnership between all the partners. In future, they they are not going to act as a partners. Another definition is given: the act or process of ending on official organization. Ending of On official organization or legal agreement, because that you knows it very well. When the partners enters into the agreement, 
that partnership agreement is called as what partnership deed and therefore that deed is to be cancelled that is called deed is cancelled next the dissolution of partnership firm indicates the discontinuance of function as a firm not continuation it is going to be discontinue the function this is the definition of a partnership dissolution which is given indian partnership act 1932 section 39 provides that the dissolution of the partnership between all the partners of a firm is called the dissolution of a firm after definition we are going to consider what are the accounting procedures are there now dissolution is it is studied under the two process one is simple dissolution and another is dissolution under insolvency situation there are two terms are there that is solvent and insolvent now what is the solvent and what is insolvent solvent means whose assets are in a position to make the payment of his liability assets over the liabilities will be a solvent person and insolvent means whose liabilities are greater than that of the assets means after making the realizing the assets is uh, not in a position to make the payment of his liabilities that person is called as what insolvent person and the person who is having more whatever he owns and less whatever he want to make the payment that is called solvent person the dissolution under insolvency means when a one partner becomes insolvent now insolvency is again a great it's a what we can say c insolvency who declares when declare how it is declared can a person say by himself i am insolvent is it okay or not that will be seen in the lectures but due to the partner becomes insolvent the partnership is going to be closed but first we are going to consider what is simple dissolution simple dissolution means what when all partners of a partnership firm are solvent and they decided to dissolve their firm due to any reason that is most important what is the reason that may be willingly they want don't don't, don't want to continue the partnership in future by giving 14 days notice can dissolve the partnership firm or there are so many reasons are there we have seen it is called as a simple dissolution of a partnership firm under simple dissolution of a partnership firm we are going to open the following accounts in the books in the examination you will be given the balance sheet of a partnership firm and certain adjustments from that we have to open different accounts first we are going to open a realization account then partners capital account now partners capital account is to be open when the capital method is fluctuating capital method and suppose the capital method is fixed one in that case you like to open the current account of the partners okay afterwards you like to open the cash or bank account and if necessary you can open the partners loan account why it is specifically mentioned if necessary sometimes the partner when gives the loan to the partnership firm that will be considered as a liability to be uh make the adjustments as per the liability normal liability or better way you open the loan from mr a that is the capital or a's loan that is to be done or in some problem it was given that loan is to be adjusted towards or it is to be added to the capital okay it depends upon the problem now after getting that first you have to open realization account which required near about 3 4 page then open the partners capital account and then cash and bank account now what to be done how the problem is to be solved it's a very simple first transfer the capital balances to the partners i am talking about the fluctuating capital method and not fixed capital in this case what to be done first transfer the capital balances to the partners capital account credit side very rarely debit balance is there that a partners debit balance to be transferred to the debit side column that form particulars suppose three partners are there you have to open uh, near about four columns each side debit and credit side and particulars mr a mr b mr c this is debit side credit side particulars mr a mr b and mr c okay now capital balances generally capital having the credit balance 
that to be transferred to the partner's capital account credit side. If supposing of the partner capital balance is debit, that is to be transferred to the debit side. Next, please watch if there is general reserve is there in the problem. If there is a general reserve in the problem, balance sheet liability side, that general reserve is to be transferred to the partner's capital account credit side among the partners in their PSR, that is profit sharing ratio. Then balance sheet liability side, is there any P&L account is given or not? P&L account liability side, that is the profits, that to be transferred to the partner's capital account again to the credit side in their, again what? PSR. If suppose P&L account lies to the asset side, that is called losses. That losses is to be transferred to the partner's capital account, debit side, in again PSR. Then transfer the cash balance or bank balance to the cash or bank account. Suppose in the problem, both the balances are given. Then you open the bank account, write the balance and cash balance to be shown to the bank account to cash because it is assumed all the transactions are made through the bank and whatever the cash is there that were deposited in the bank. Isn't it? Means both item goes there only. Then afterwards, transfer all the assets to realization account debit side. Transfer all the assets to realization account debit side. I'm writing giving in very short realization account debit side in book value whereas the liabilities apart from this to be transferred to realization account credit side at book value in case of debtors suppose in the balance sheet it is given debtors in a column 10000 less rdd 500 outer column 9500 there are two ways general method is realization account debit side write down 10000 and credit side by rdd 500 Sometimes the students are going to write directly realization account debit side 9500, but you should write in this manner that is 10,000 to the debit side to debtors and credit side by RDD. After transferring means the balance sheet is completed, all the items we have posted to the realization account, partner's capital account and the balance of the cash and bank to be posted to the cash and bank account. That is the first step. Then it is given in the problem generally how the assets are realized. Assets are realized means assets are sold in the market. When we are going to sell the asset, now we have kept all the assets to the realization. And hence, here, when assets are sold, what you are going to receive? You are going to receive bank or cash. Miss bank or cash account debit to which account? That is assets account. Assets are going away. Real account debit what comes in, credit what goes out. But instead of individual assets, we are all transferred to where? realization that's why here realization account is to be credited means when we sold assets in the market what comes in cash or bank comes in therefore cash or bank account debit to realization account here to the cash and bank side you are right debit side to realization and give the description of the assets whatever you have sold inner column figure and take the total outer column and that outer column figure you can take to the realization account credit side there is no problem next if suppose any asset is taken over by the partner, two partners, am I right? Then in that case, you have to debit which account? Partners capital account. Partners capital account, debit side you have to write to realization into bracket asset and write in a particular partners column. Suppose A had taken, then you have to put to the A's column. B had taken, then put to the B's column. Then realization account, credit side by A's capital account by B's capital account, whatever may be the case. Means if the asset is taken over by the partner, partner's capital account debit to realization account. After doing this, you are having the money, then first make the payment to the realization expenses. Expenses, realization account is just like as a pay and profit and loss account just like is that. Therefore, debit the realization account because all the expenses are to be debited. Realization expenses goes to realization account debit side and what is going away from you? Cash or bank. Therefore, realization account debit to cash or bank account. Means realization account debit side to bank red expenses in the core bracket 
and write the amount. Whereas bank account credit side by realization into bracket, realization expenses and write the figure there. That is also called dissolution expenses. Next, liabilities to be paid off. It is mentioned in the problem. You have paid a creditors, bills payable, bank loan, bank overdraft. So many liabilities are there. That is to be there. Means again the entry will come, realization account debit to cash or bank account because the bank is going away from you, cash is going away from you. Therefore, your entry will be realization account debit to cash or bank account. But suppose for one of two items, that is liabilities, problem is silent. That is nothing is given regarding the creditors, nothing is given regarding the bills payable. Then it is to be assumed that the liabilities, whatever not given in the problem, they are paid off at book values. So we will have to pay the, all the liabilities first. And if it is silent, nothing is given, means it is paid at balance sheet value. Therefore, entry will be realization account debit to cash or bank account. You have to check first whether we have paid or not. Realization expenses first, then all liabilities. And if anything is remaining, then we will have to consider whether there is a partner's loan is there or not. Then it is to be paid off. After making a payment of the partner's loan, if anything is remaining, that to be given to the partners. Otherwise, not. Now, after considering all these adjustments, then we have to close the first realization account. Generally, in case of dissolution of a partner, here, partnership firm, what happened? Debit side will be more and credit side will be less. Many times, there is a loss. Loss is lost, excess of debit over credit. Therefore, first close the realization and that loss is to be transferred to whom partners where their debit side, partners capital account debit side in their PSR. After transferring that, then close the partners capital account. Whenever you are going to close the partners capital, suppose partner A debit side is suppose 10,000 and his credit side total comes 9,500. It means that his debit is greater than that of credit. Here, it is assumed that deficiency is of rupees 500 that he had bought in cash. Cash or bank account debit to partner's capital account, Mr. A. Means he is a solvent partner. We are considering the solvency and all the partners are solvent and that's why whatever the deficiency of a partner arises, it is assumed that deficiency is bought by the partners in cash. Whereas the Mr. B, suppose debit side is, we can say 5,000 and the credit side, it is 6,000. Miss credit side is more, debit side is less by rupees 1,000. Miss he is having the excess capital of rupees 1,000. That is to be paid off. Means partners capital account debit to cash or bank account. Accordingly, you will have to make an adjustments and you can do it. After that, you are going to close the cash or bank account. Keep in mind, your cash and bank account must tally perfectly. Then only your problem is perfect. I will give in a short, very simple, listen very carefully, transfer first capital balances to the partner's capital account, general reserve to be transferred to the partner's capital in their PSR, profit and loss account, that is liability side to be transferred to the credit side in again PSR, and p &L account asset side to be transferred to the partner's capital account debit side in their PSR. Then prepare the bank or cash account. Then transfer the balance to the debit side. And prepare realization account. All assets to be transferred to the realization account debit side. Liabilities to be transferred to the realization account credit side. Then make the payment first of the realization expenses. Then we have to make the payment of outside liabilities. Then we have to make the payment. Generally, it is given in the problem. Then you have to make the payment if the liability is not paid, it is silent. It is assumed that it is paid at balance sheet value, at book value. Afterwards, you have to close the realization account, transfer the loss. Generally, it is loss or suppose profit is there. Loss is there, it should be transferred to the partner's capital account debit side. And liability is there, then transfer it to the partner's profit is there, partner's capital account credit side. Then close the partner's capital account. All the partners are solvent. And if suppose deficiency is there, just I have given of 500. Such type of the deficiency, if suppose the rises, it is considered that it is bought by that particular partner, bank or cash account debit here. Or if suppose it is a, not deficiency is there, it is partner's credit side is more, debit side is less, means we like to make the payment to that partner, rupees 1000, just I have given, and that is to be partner's capital account debit to 
your cash or bank account and our cash or bank account must tally with each other. This is our realization cash and bank account and partners capital account. But suppose here it is given in the problem that there is a fixed capital method is there. Then in that case, we'll have to open which account? Current account. Then here the one account is increased. That is first realization account. Second, you have to open the partner's capital account. And thirdly, you will have to open partner's current account. And lastly, cash or bank account. That you will have to consider very well. I repeat, you will have to open first what? Realization account as usual. You will have to open partner's capital account. You will have to open current account. Or you may first open the current account, then capital account in the columnar form. Then what? Cash and bank account whenever the capital balances are fixed capital. Then keep in mind all the adjustments whatever just we have considered in the capital account are to be done to the partner's current account. All the adjustments and respectively you will have to transfer the current account balance to the partner's capital account. Means your partner's capital account you will get only two entries balance entry and the balance from the current account. Am I right? Debit side, credit side, as per that, you have to transfer it and then from capital to the cash or bank account. Deficiency or is there or not that you have to consider. That is called simple dissolution. Generally, it is asked in the examination. The another part is there when suppose a particular partner becomes what? Insolvent. In the book, you can see that there is one partner insolvent, another part, two partner becomes insolvent and all other partners becomes insolvent. Today, we are going to consider when one partner becomes insolvent. The other problems, whatever the done we have, we'll have to solve the same. There is no change. There is capital, fluctuating capital is there. There is no change. We'll have to solve the problem as it is. Now, when you are going to transfer the realization loss or profit to the partner's capital account, then in that case, what to be done? When you are there in the partner's capital account, and keep in mind, you were doing the closing of partner's capital. First, you have to consider that you are closing the insolvent partner. Suppose Mr. B is there who is insolvent, isn't it? First, close Mr. B's capital account. Obviously, his debit side is more. Take the total of the debit side, right to the credit side. And the other partners are A and C, isn't it? A and C is there. Now, whatever the deficiency arises, Suppose they are equal partners and here a deficiency arises of rupees 1000. This 1000 rupees is to be shared by solvent partners. Who are the solvent partners? Mr. A and Mr. C. Mr. A and Mr. C. How it is to be written? It is to be written as by A's capital account 500 in the column of B by C's capital account in the column of B. Okay, whereas debit side, you have to write here to B's capital account in the column of A, 500, B dash, and C, 500. Are you getting my point? When a one partner becomes insolvent, in this manner, you are going to do it. All the figures are imaginary figures. And then close the capital balance of Mr. A and then C and A, uh, transfer it to the bank account. Suppose after making the payment, C becomes uh, having the less capital, then it is assumed that C is, in, C is a solvent. Therefore, all whatever the less amount is there that is bought by him and uh, we have to make the payment to A and our cash and bank balance should tally regarding the insolvency of one partner. Suppose here C also becomes insolvent, B becomes insolvent, C becomes insolvent, then that should be shared by Mr. A alone. As per the problem, we we'll have to solve the problems and insolvency, solvency problems. Sometimes it is also asked journal entries. And keep in mind that students always forgetting about making the journal entry of general result. There is no entry for the transferring the balances to the respect to their accounts. But suppose general reserve is there, means your entry will be general reserve account debit to partner's capital account. Don't write partner's capital account to Mr. A's capital account, Mr. B's capital account, Mr. C's capital account. By that way, distribution is to be done. If loan account of a partner, if you are open, then no entry is there. But if the partner's loan account balance, if you are transferred to the realization account, then your entry will be, suppose the liabilities, creditor's account debit, central creditor's account debit, bills payable account debit, bank overdraft, 
बैंक लोन अकाउंट डेबिट बीस लोन अकाउंट डेबिट टू रियलाइजेशन अकाउंट टोटल बट इफ यू ओपन बीस लोन अकाउंट एंड यू आर ट्रांसफरिंग द बैलेंस देन डोट मेक द इंडी जर्नल एंट्री another is realization account debit to all the assets account to your cash or bank goes to the bank account therefore no entry to planted machinery to debtors to land and building to furniture to patents to stock whatever the you are going to transfer all the assets that to be realization account debit to different assets account that entry is to be done it again for p and l also in the balance sheet it is given if it is a liability side property and loss account debit to partners capital account in their psr That is A's capital. Whenever I am telling partners' capital, means you have to keep in mind. You try to Mr. A's capital account to B's capital account to C's capital account. If there is asset side, it is given P&L account. Then write down partners' capital account debit to P&L account. What are the entries you are going to do it? You have to do it, and then profit or loss you have to calculate. That should be transferred past the entry, and also from the capital to the where cash or bank past the entry. Many times. You have to open the accounts only. Sometimes it is given. You have to prepare the journal entry, and even though it is not stated to open the account, then you first prepare the two pages journal, two and two and half pages journal, and then write down working note and regularly prepare the account. By that way, you can ascertain the profit or loss, the realization, what the balances are there to the partner's capital amount is to be transferred to the cash or bank account. Otherwise, it is very difficult to write the journal entries. These are the general entries also. This is the solvency problem, insolvency problem, fixed capital method, or fluctuating capital method that you have to consider, and accordingly you have to open the account. This is if you want anything more, ask in the comment box, or you can attend the lectures, online lectures. I will explain very well. If you like my video, please like, share maximum, and subscribe for more and more videos. Thanking you. Bye. Goodbye.